Hey everyone, so we're going to start this video off by going over some stuff in this article. Um, this is from way back in 2012 when the 2013 Camaro SS1 LEs first came out. Um, basically, you know, it, it does a good job of kind of reviewing it and going over all the specs, but one of the things I want to focus on is this. So the 3860 pound 1LE, post admiral track numbers, so they say 0 to 60 is 4.3 seconds. Quarter miles, 12.7 seconds at 111, and then you can break from 60 to 0 and 101 feet. Um, so what I wanted to test the last few days here is this: these numbers, right? The 0 to 60 and the quarter mile time. Because a lot of times you see in these articles, they exaggerate numbers a little bit. And uh, I don't know, they just take really, really idealized conditions and give you ratings for things. So anyway... We're going to do a little research here and see uh, and see what we come up with. So the first thing we have to go over is just acknowledging the fact that the weights they put in articles like that are not particularly accurate, considering that in a scenario like this, we have myself and my friend. So you wind up being a lot more than that 3860 number that they put there. And that's obviously going to slow down your times a little bit. So the first run that you'll see is with a dirty air filter, 89 octane gas, the sunroof open and the windows open. So what you're going to notice is that we have a lot slower time than what they posted on the website. the sunroof closed, windows up, and you'll see the second run proved to be much better, but it's still pretty difficult to hit some of the times that they list in these articles. As you can see, you definitely can come fairly close to the numbers. It's just important to note that if you ever buy a car and you're looking at the acclaimed numbers, they're not 100% realistic for just a on the street, everyday driving scenario. They're definitely more than likely done with a professional driver who really knows what they're doing on a track. You know, maybe the tires are warmed up or lowered air pressure. You know, they're really an idealized time. So as long as you kind of go into it knowing that, you shouldn't be too disappointed. Regardless, these cars are a whole heck of a lot of fun. They're pretty darn quick, and man, do they handle corners well. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.